Atipoyene, you are the CEO of Total. Thank you for being on WPC TV. Uh, let me ask you a question, a pretty basic question about oil and gas. Not so long ago, people talked about peak oil, which always seemed to me to be not a terribly bright idea. But with the price of oil as it is now, how do you view uh, exploration and development in the oil market in the years ahead? Uh, you know, it's, uh, there is a direct impact between the price and the cash flow it generates and sort of investments, you know. But there is also an impact on the costs of our industry. And in fact, uh, the volume of investments is not only a matter of revenues, it's also a matter of costs. So I would say that, uh, yes, the investments have dramatically decreased from $700 billion more or less two years ago to $400 billion. So there is much less investments. And that's an issue for the future of oil production because it's an industry where, uh, you know, every week, every week, every day, every year, so production is declining. There is a natural decline. If we don't invest enough, then we will face, in some years, a lack of supply. So that's, uh, so you're right to say that there was no peak oil. By the way, there is no more peak demand, which is a new theory today. All that is just forget the peaks. Just it's, uh, I would say, a commodity with cycles. Uh, when the price of oil is high, you invest too much, and demand is low. When the price of oil is low, you invest less, but demand is higher. And but it's then, clear that fracking in the US has been a bit of a game changer. What do you think of the future of OPEC? Oh, we, OPEC has a brilliant future, by the way. Look, everybody is waiting for OPEC decision on November 30th in Vienna. And when OPEC in Algiers two months from or ago May announced that they will have maybe an agreement, the price went up by 15%. So OPEC is there. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is, uh, these countries represent 30% of the production and 50% of the reserves. You know, So it's a big, huge player. I've said that that's also true that in the US you have a dynamic uh, shale oil production, which is, by the way, 5 million barrels of oil per day. It's 5% uh, of world production, it's not the whole of it. But there is a dynamic, and we have it uh, because the way that you can, I would say, have a quicker reaction of investments according to the price level. Uh, so at $50, some rigs are remobilized, so it will impact the oil production. But again, we need both. We need everything. We need OPEC production and we need sh shale oil production if we want to fill the demand. Because the real challenge for the wood industry is that the demand is continuing to grow. And a lower price is even growing quicker. I mean, you talk about the real challenge. Is there a real challenge with climate change? Uh, it's still a real challenge for the coming 15, 20 years. No, when you speak about climate change, we must keep in mind the time scale issue. It's, uh, it's a matter of 35, 25 years, 40 years. You know, in, when you look to the um, scenario by the International Energy Agency, which was recently updated, you have in the two degree scenario in 2040, 45% of oil and gas. It's not zero at all. So we still need oil and gas. Yes, that's true that the demand for oil could, I would stabilize or decline by this period, 2035, 2040. And so that there we will have to develop the most competitive oil uh, productions like in the Middle East. But bef between today, 2015 and 2035, you have 20 years to go. But Total and then the production could change. But your company, Total, does it invest also in renewable energies? As BP yeah, yeah, we invest. Energy. Total has decided to prepare to be a responsible major company. We are the number four major oil and gas company. We'll remain a major oil and gas player in 25 years. But we will, we will also be a player of renewables. Uh, we have today invested, we have 5% of business today is invested in renewables, in solar, in energy storage, in energy efficiency. And I think it's a, it's a good policy. By the way, these markets are going quicker to reallocate part of the revenues that we extract from oil and gas. Of course, 90% of that is going to oil and gas, but to prepare the future, because our ambition is to be uh, uh, to remain a major energy company in 25 I'm years. I'm sure you'll succeed. Patrick Pouyanné, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.